Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good Hello. evening. Hello. Welcome, everybody, to your English class. This is your video conference number six. Yay, we are starting our new unit, unit two. Yay. Yes, we are moving forward in the right direction, all right? Hello, Andrea, welcome. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi, Wilbert. Hello, Hazel. Welcome. Hi, Henry. I see you're safe and sound. Good evening. Hi. Yay. Good evening. Coleando, yeah? Safe and sound. <laughs> All right. Hi, I crossed the, cross the river in the boat. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> I, I I heard Wilbur. Hello, Wilbur. Welcome. All right. Thank you. Okay, guys. Hello, Carlos Roberto. Welcome, Hazel. Hello, Good teacher. Evening. Good night. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Ellen Nilsson. Teacher, good night, good night. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Thank God you can yes. make it. Excellent. Yes. yes. Excuse me for not the class. Uh, <laughs> not yes. <laughs> well, it was out of your hand, right? It was yes. out of your hand. But now you're here, so we're going to yes. take advantage of the time. All right. Yeah. Thank you. There Thank you. Are. Good. Okay, let's look at everyone. Everybody's here. Everyone is ready. Remember that you have to turn your cameras on. And also, when you hear your name, the first thing you have to do, or the only thing, is to say present. All right. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. I saw Andrea over there. Maybe she's having trouble too with the uh, microphone again, right? Okay. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. All right. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. I am here, teacher. There you are. <laughs> Ellen Nilsson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher, good evening. Okay, good evening. Eric Jose Hernandez Campos. Present teacher. Okay. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Present teacher. Okay. Henry Alberto Perez Rosales. Present teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Javier Antonio Cortez Martinez. Ah, this is the one I always forget. Juan Francisco Salmeron Alas. Karen Jamilet Rivas. Teacher, I'm here. Okay, Blanca. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. I'm here, I'm here, okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, no problem. Uh, Magdiel Esau Garcia Morales. 
Miguel, I saw you over there. You were right there. Present teacher. Good okay. Evening. Good evening. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Hello, yes. teacher. Right Present. in time, right? Right on time. Yes. On time. Rafael Antonio Barrera Diaz. Present teacher. Right on time, too, right? Very good. Okay. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria Tobar. Present teacher. There you are. Eh, Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Good evening, teacher. Present. Hello, good evening. We miss you yesterday in the presentations. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Present teacher. All right. Jose Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Present. Okay. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sanchez. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, class. We are going to start the class tonight. Uh, yes, Ricardo. Yes. Very good. You're present. All good right. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing? Uh, how are you? Good. Okay. You had a good day tonight. Today. Everything okay. Teacher. Nice. Tell me. Yeah, teacher, I don't know for what, but I, I, I think I have problem with the internet. I have the light in your, uh, when you speak, I have the light, but yesterday in the last minute, I lost the, the connection and I stay present in the classes, but I don't know what happened with my tablet. Uh, she out me of the class and I, I, I can stand with the right moment you pass the assistance. All right, yes, but you send me a text message and I could um, I could do it for you, all right? Mm -hmm. Thank you yeah, for letting right, me know. In, in this right moment, I, yeah, in, in, in this moment, I, I, I present uh, difficult with the connection. I don't know for what, I have a big delight. Oh, really? All right. Well, you've got to be uh, watching this out because you have to try the times as needed, all right? Time after time, you have to try to connect again because the attendance is uh, counted by the minutes connected, all right? It's by the system. If you get disconnected, then it stops the counting, right? All right. All right, so watch out. Okay, people. We are going to start a class tonight. It's the first class of Unit 2. Yay! Yes, we did it. We finished Unit 1, and now you are going to Unit 2. Do you know what's the topic of Unit 2? Uh -huh. Direction and instructions. Yes, there you are. Directions and instructions. Remember imperatives? Do you remember should? All right, we are going to learn some other ways to give instructions in our workplaces. And also we are going to learn another way to um, express rules, things that you have to do, things that are not allowed, all right, in the workplace. So uh, we are gonna start by these uh, very important um, topic. This is really the basic one, all right? This is the basic one because we want to know the places that um, are there in our workplaces because sometimes there are rules for each place. We have to show a, a kind of behavior or an expected behavior in each of the places. There are rules to stay in a place in your workplace, right? It's not maybe uh, uh, permitted that you eat on your desk, maybe, right? Because you are in the office. Maybe you are in a storage room. It's not, or it's forbidding smoke to smoke, right? Or smoking. So we are gonna see that there are places for each thing, all right? 
hay un lugar para cada cosa y hay una cosa para cada lugar. This is what we are going to see here. Directions and instructions. Do you have a manual in your workplace that uh, tells you what is allowed in some places and what is not? Do you have like a manual? For example, um, <clears throat> it's not permitted that you go, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it was a gecko here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. It was a gecko. Yeah. <laughs> ah. All right. Uh, I got scared. <laughs> right there all right so we were talking about the places right so let's let me introduce the class or continue with the introduction of unit two right and here we are so unit two is about directions and instructions okay and let's remember we have to do our homework right after each class, right? We have to um, remain updated, our platform or our job or our work in the platform. So let's start. Directions and instructions, you need to. This is your video conference. Number six is not the number four, right? It's number six. And the topic for tonight is how to use there is and there are. These are two um, expressions or they help us to form expressions to say I or in the negative form, no I, right? But in English, we have countable nouns and we have non-countable nouns. We have plural and singular. So we have to be sure which one of those we are going to use in what cases, all right? That's what we are going to try to decipher here, all right. So the objective for this class is that at the end of the class, you will be able to use there is and there are both positive and negative forms. If you see, I placed um, a city, right? A round city here. And you can see some places over there, right? You can see some places. If we um, <clears throat> get closer, we can describe each of the places in a big place. Also, we can describe all the places in a bigger place, all right? So places, in places and places of places, right? Okay, so our agenda for tonight, the feedback, right? The feedback was about unit one, right? The class topic and objective presentation has been done, all right? Then we're having a discussion. Me voy a poner en silencio. Ustedes van a discutir algunas, a dar algunas respuestas a algunas preguntas. You will answer some questions, but talking all together, right? Talking in group. Mm. Then we are going to practice a conversation to see the use in context of there is, there are, and the negative form of those, right? Then on page on page 20, we have some written exercises in our manuals that you are going to solve. And in the breakout rooms, we are going to go to the platform and we are going to do an activity um, in the discussion label, right? In the discussion label. And then, well, you are going to share it, right? So let's start, let's get started. Let's get started. Ok, la primera cosa que quiero que me digan así a grandes rasgos, 
our feedback. We were talking about, in unit one, a ver, sequence words. What are the sequence words? Examples? First. Next. First. Next. Final. After. Mm -hmm. Then behind. Mm, then. Behind. Well, actually, behind is not a sequence word, it's a preposition of place, right? Finally. Mm -hmm. finally yeah finally it's the end of the then, steps then first. then all right mm -hmm. second. second right then right then mm -hmm. after yes after and those are to mark steps in a process right then we study it the imperatives when do we use imperatives when do we use imperatives How do we use the imperatives? What do you need to say instruction or I don't know it's correct the serial order? Yes, orders and commands. Yes, it is okay. It is okay. Invitation. For invitations, yes, for invitations. And we start right with the verb in those sentences. Remember, you can say for uh, there sometimes we have only the verb saying the whole idea right for example we could say don't uh well the negative right don't chew right or maybe for appeal you don't have to chew it you have to swallow it right uh maybe there are other things that maybe you has you have a um, and an instruction or a direction in a bottle of, or in a can of something, right? That you are going to use, for example, the hand cream. And it says it doesn't eat because it's not edible, right? So you have to, uh, it says don't eat, right? Don't eat, it, right? Don't eat it. <laughs> so we have the verb, but no subject, no subject. Right. Okay. Then we use should when we want to express uh, something that we think it's right or we think is wrong. All right. Okay. So giving advice. Right. There you are. Okay. Then let's start then with this discussion. Esta pequeña discusión no es que vamos a discutir así como eh, a mí no me gusta o a mí me gusta, right? We are going to express. For example, maybe in your work, workplace, there is something that in your classmate's workplace, there isn't, all right? So we are going to talk about this. Let's read the first question. It says, what is there in your workplace? Next one. What places are there in your workplace? All right. Then how many meeting rooms, sorry, meeting rooms do exist in your company? And the last one, does a lactation room exist in your company? All right. Me voy a poner en silencio y vamos a ver, vamos a tomar lugares. Puede empezar, a ver, vamos a empezar with Wilber. Wilber, please, you start, all right? You are going to, usted va a dar la pauta, okay? You are going to start and everybody is going to be adding uh, and expressing their own ideas, all right? Okay. So, me pongo en silencio, okay? I will get muted. Uh, I will ask a uh, that was a specific or <clears throat> yes the first one for example what is there in your workplace you you can give your uh your answer yeah. and then you can ask anyone else right okay. 
uh, we will ask uh, to Ricardo. Ricardo, uh, what is there your workplace? Sorry, is with me? Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry. Okay, I have no worries. No worry, the... no worry. I will. Please, please. I will ask again. Okay. What is there in your workplace? Um, in my workplace are many places. Uh, they are off. Pieces, there are parkings, uh, there are places for for have fun, many places in my work. Okay, similar like me. Uh, uh, may I ask another classmate teacher? Yes, everybody can participate with you, right? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I will ask to um, Rafael, Alexander. No, man, what's up? <laughs> I will ask you a, a question. What uh, is there in your, in my workplace? Yes. Okay. Uh, there are, uh, what places are there? What places uh, are there? The places are there in my workplace. Uh, uh, office, uh, offices, many offices. Um, uh, warehouse, warehouses. And how do you say tire teacher? Workshops. Workshops. Uh, there are many workshops too. Um, we have a a, a cooperative, <laughs> and uh, we have a, a lot that's of... a union, right? That's a yes. union. Cooperative is a union. Union. It could okay. be a credit union or uh, like a workers' union, right? A workers union. Um, and that's all. Okay. Well, in my case, uh, in my workplace, uh, uh, there are uh, in front of the, in front of the, the company is the embajada to chef, embassy. Yes. Embassy. China, uh, uh, Chinese embassy. Chinese, Chinese, Chinese embassy. Chinese embassy is one of the company. Uh, you know what? Uh, next, uh, next the company is uh, parking. Uh, his name is, uh, I forget the parking names. But, but it belongs to a church. And um, around there, there's a, are, are uh, many offices too. Okay, I will ask to um, Eden Nilsson. Hello, hello, go ahead. Okay, I will ask you, uh, how many meeting forms do exist in your company? In my company exists two, two million rooms, but we have uh, many places too, but uh, million rooms exist too. Okay. In, uh, in my workplace, is there a million room? How many? One. One million room. One million room. Okay, yes. excellent. Uh, I will ask uh, Carlos Ernesto Perez. Hi, Hi, Carlos. Uh, the last question uh, Does a lactation rope exist in your workplace? No. 
now we're there in my in my workplace and uh, don't don't have awesome. lactation lactation from okay that, that's an lactation room. in my company it's the same thing the, doesn't exist thank you very much wilbur you did a very good job as a moderator you did a very good job thank all right let's estudiando. yeah i see i see all right uh look uh karen karen what is there in your workplace <laughs> in my workplace are many classrooms All right mm -hmm. uh, computer classroom one office and two manager office and um, one cafeteria one place to to din to breakfast room or breakfast space all right like for it's like a resting room like that but it's just to eat oh all right like a, a cafeteria area where you yeah. have your mic, uh, microwaves and you have no. everything you need for that oh all right all no. right there isn't the, any the microwave is like a uh candy store all right mm -hmm. they, uh, they sell um, snacks yeah all right a school store right we, we know what it's what is store, that actually. un chalecito right yes all right good mm -hmm. so uh let's listen also to uh henry what is there in your workplace Hi, in my workplace, uh, there are uh, a show, showroom for the customers. There are a storage, storage room, warehouse. We have a, how do you say, tiradero in English? <laughs> mm, yeah, that's the stock room or like the basement. Disorder, thing. <laughs> ah, all right. Like a mountain, a pile of uh, trash. A, a pile. Pile. I'm a sorry? pile. Of, uh, uh -huh. um, customer um, POP is a uh, material POP. And we have. And what, uh, what is that? Material POP? What is that? Es material de punto de venta, son afiches, eh, banners, uh, all right. ampolas, yeah. y todo okay. está montonado. This oh. is the pillar. Oh, okay. Pile of materials, right? Pile, pile, of, materials. pile of materials. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you very much, Henry. All right, guys. Is there any workplace of you? Okay, of any of you that has a lactation room. Uh, we have a, a lactation, lactation room. Oh, in right. The, uh, how do you say comedor? In the, the cafeteria? Cafeteria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At the cafeteria area. Yes, All we right. have. Very good. Very good. All right, so many places don't have. Ahora, veamos una cosa con esto. Ahorita que ustedes contestaron, mi observación la voy a dar en español ahorita para que comprendamos un poquito los detalles. Cuando utilizamos there is y cuando utilizamos there are, tenemos que fijarnos muy bien el nombre que vamos a decir después, porque esto se usa con objetos, ¿verdad? Objetos, animales, personas, right? We use this with subjects. So we need to know, tenemos que saber, okay? The plural, okay? The singular, if it is a count noun 
or if it is a non-count noun, all right? Tenemos que fijarnos eso en el nombre que vamos a utilizar. Si es plural, si es singular, si es contable, si no es contable. Ok. Si es plural, ok, vamos a utilizar there are. Y hay que usarlo, ok. Nosotros normalmente decimos de un solo el objeto, ¿verdad? Cuando nos preguntan, what places are there in your workplace? Um, we start. Offices, um, patios, um, then we say gardens. Um, I don't know. You start looking for an answer to this, but without the correct structure. All right? La, la, estru la estructura correcta sería there are. Okay? There are, y luego va el nombre en. Plural, right? Or ES, right? Remember that. In plural, S or ES, it depends, right? Singular, we are going to use there is a, because it's only one, right? Tenemos que usar a. Remember, there is a. Vamos a usar there is a. Okay, and then the noun. Okay, for non-count nouns, also there is, right? Yeah. No way. Got frozen. Okay. Uh-oh. Cuando pasa esto, tendré que desconectarme un momentito porque si no, ya no me va a dejar seguir escribiendo. Ok, voy a tratar acá. Voy a tratar con otro cuadro. There is. Ahí en el, en el no contable no utilizamos a. ¿Verdad? A menos, a menos que haya un cuantificador. For example, por ejemplo, a lot of, right? Some, yeah. Um, podríamos utilizar many. Uh, bueno, en, en este, there is, mm -mm, there is no, there is much, okay? There is... Uh, yeah, much, much es la palabra. Many sería para los non-count nouns, right? Okay, entonces, there is a lot es for los non-count noun. Ahora, para los contables, para los contables volvemos a esto, ¿verdad? Si es singular o si es plural, entonces utilizamos there are or there is, all right? Bien. Vamos a ver entonces que esta frase no solo significa hay, de que, de que está available, sino que esta palabra es muy importante. Miren, exist. I'm sorry. Ya ven. Exist. There is and there are means exist. All right. Exist the existent things around the place or the existing places in a bigger place, right? Okay, here we go. If you see, we can use any of these phrases to express uh, I or existe, okay? Pero tenemos otros verbos como um, we have, ¿ok? Tenemos, because we possess. I mean, we are part of the company, so you are a part of they, uh, those who has the possession of those things. If you use something, then it's your responsibility. So you can say, I have a desk, I have a computer, I have... It, uh, um, the computer from the company, but you are using it, right? The computer, maybe it is from the company, but 
you are using it, so you are responsible for it, then you can use we have or I have. All right. Then, vamos a pasar a la conversación, to the conversation for you to see something very interesting because we have the negative form too, okay? We have the negative form too, and we want to see the context, right? I think I've got the slide ready here. Yes, it is. Okay, let's read uh, this conversation. Then we are going to practice it. And also we are going to do the um, comprehension activity we have below, right? We have below this, figure it out, okay? So, I'm going to read it first, then I will give you 30 seconds. And then if you have any question, then you can tell me, okay? My name is Tom, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson, I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, I'm sorry, again, the gecko. I'm sorry. I know that company, there is an office. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous because it's right in in the wall in front of me, right? Okay. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. All right. Now take 30 seconds, read it. And if you have questions, let me know. Move your lips, please. Teacher. Tell me. Hoach is the name of the company. Yes, the name of the company. Uh -huh. Yay. It's like an acronym or maybe it's a shirt for something or maybe it's a proper name, right? A last name. The, the pronunciation is correct, Hodge. Yes, yes, the most accepted or the popular thing will be the accepted one. But here we're just reading the letters we have in front of us. So yes, they sound like that. So we can say it like that too. We could say Hodge, we could say Hachi, we could say Hachi, right? Uh, we really don't know, right? Thanks. All right. When the teacher, when they use about it. Oh yeah, I'm trying to look, look for it, but I can't see it. And I, it's constantly going up right behind the computer on the wall. So yeah, it scares me out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Teacher. Tell me. Take a deep breath when oh. you see a gecko. Okay, thank you very much. That's, a, that's good advice. Yes. Remember, the, the gecko is more scared than you. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much for remind me that. <laughs> and it wants to be your friend. Oh, really? Do you think so? <laughs> well, my mm, sister-in-law named them, right? Because of my little girl, because she got scared too. Uh, maybe because of my reaction, right? But uh, my sister-in-law says, oh, hello, Lucita, right? Like a friend, <laughs> just, to, just to not have her scare. Yeah, I, I get scared. <laughs> yeah. Okay, is there any question so far about this conversation?
questions about the vocabulary? Okay, now let's look at how they used the, uh, the there is expression or that there are expression, right? We are gonna see the first one. The first one it says there is, aha, uh -huh. what? An office. This is the correct way of pronunciating the, uh, this or to tell this. There is an office. Why? Because the word office starts with a vowel, right? So we use an, right? Uh, there is an office. It means one, right? It means one. Okay. Singular. Uh, now, there are not, there are not, aha, we have a quantifier here because maybe they are not giving an exact number of branches, right? There are not many. There are not many. Viene resultando como there are few. Casi que es lo mismo, ¿verdad? There are not many branches. There are few. Es una redundancia, pero es para que veamos el ejemplo, right? There are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. Okay, not many, few, opposite, right? Opposite. Um, next one. Ah, but what I want you to see is the word not, right? After the beaver, right? There are not. We don't say they not are, okay? Let's be careful with that. We usually uh, make that mistake. So there are not. All right, we can make a contraction here. We can say there aren't, right? We can say also there aren't. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, uh, this one, there are exact number, right? 25 branches. It's not the branches is an uncountable noun, right? Because it is not countable. And you see the plural? Yeah, singular, one branch. ES for plural, branches, right? Okay, there are six, six what? Six branches, right? There are six what? Branches. Mm, okay, then we don't say it because we understand, right? That uh, <clears throat> it's about branches they're talking about. There are six in San Salvador. And then there isn't one yet. Aquí tenemos esta palabra que probablemente algunos no la han utilizado todavía. Yet significa that todavía. exactly. Yes, todavía. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yet. Y la usamos with a negative sentence. All right. In a negative sentence, we use yet. In a positive or affirmative sentence, we use still, right? Still, para todavía, okay? Still and yet. Two different words, one meaning, todavía, all right? Yet negative, still positive, all right? Okay, people, let's figure these out. We have to fill in the blanks to complete the following sentences. All right. Yesterday, someone was talking about the fill in. Fill in means llenar. Complete means completar, right? So if you see here, we have the two meanings. Fill in the blanks. What for? To complete the following sentences. Okay, this is a purpose, right? To have the complete idea. All right, number one. Number one. Rosa, can you tell me number one, according to this reading? There are, mm -hmm. there are there? three, there are three offices in San Salvador. Excellent. Why? Because it's plural. We mm. are talking about an exact number of offices, right? There are three offices in San Salvador. Now, number two, number two, please, Eric Jose. Uh, there is one store in Soyapan. 
Excellent. There is Okay. Number three, please. Um, Hernan. There are not any office in this region, region yet. All right, because they are talking in plural, right? Offices. Yeah. Mm, offices. Uh huh. There are. Uh, yeah, okay. There aren't. Right. Ah, bueno, ahí estaba el not, ¿verdad? There are not. There are not. Yes. We can contract that saying aren't. Okay, there are not any offices in this region yet, right? In this region yet. All right. Is there any question so far about these structures? No questions? No. Okay, then let's go to um let me check the agenda. All right. Uh to the page number 20. Okay, page number 20. And let's read how to use there is and there are. Okay, let's read. Okay. Uh, Mr. Tony, could you please read the box with the grammar explanation? Oh my God. It's coming up. Yeah, there it is. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone, Tony. And also the gecko guy. Yes, please, Tony. I see that you're having problems with your with your audio, right? No, he's coming back. No, he's jumping. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Is Mr. Tony back? Yeah, it's coming back. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Uh, well, I can. Oh, now, it, well, now we can see you, and now we can hear you. All right. So please read this box. All right. We use there for singular nouns. And there are for plural nouns, L, not, after be to create the negative form. All right. So let's go back and say there is for singular nouns and there are for plural nouns. And we add not after be to create the negative form. All right. So we add the word not we can contract it, we could say there aren't, or we could say there isn't, okay? Uh, we are going to continue reading the examples. Please, uh, Carlos Ernesto, can you read the there is examples? There is one office in San Salvador. Next one. There is not an store this city. Thank you very much. Now let's listen to Magdiel reading the there are examples. <clears throat> there are three distribution centers in Elopango. 
there are not many places to have a meeting. All right, thank you very much. Now, look, lo que tenemos que hacer definitivamente es poner en práctica esto y usarlo. Let's use it in our daily speaking, all right? Ya no vamos a hablar como estábamos hablando solo con el objeto, ¿verdad? Vamos a agregar el there is y el there are. How? We are going to take care about the noun we are going to use or we are going to say, right? So let's read the sentences in the next activity and let's complete, right? Let, um, I'm sorry, let's find the mistake and correct it, right? Uh, we are going to find the mistake and we are going to correct it. Let's remember it's about the noun or the subject, all right? So, number one. The mistake is, is. Okay. Can you explain a little more? Uh, there are two branches in El Salvador. Excellent. There are two branches. Okay. Thank you very much. What about number two? Hazel, are you there? There is. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem, Abel. Tell us. Um, there is one facilities available. Okay. Available. Uh-huh. There, there is, is one facilities available. All right. Uh-huh. It could be facility, right? Facility. Facility. Uh-huh. If we say one facility. Facility. Mm -hmm. Available. Available. But uh, facilities, uh-huh, uh-huh. But facilities is a noun uh, that it's uh, those plurals, right? That are irregular. Just let me confirm this because there are some words that they don't have singular, right? So let's go and check. Double check this thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the situation with this word. This word, it's an irregular uh, plural. Irregular means that it's a um, special case, right? We cannot say facility, all right? So we can't say there are one facilities. There are facilities available. So the one is, um, yeah. yeah, facility available. There it is, okay? This is an irregular plural. Okay. All right, number three. I'm teacher. In, in this case, uh, the beginning of the um, sentences is in plural and the complement is in, in singular. The All correct right. point is... Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. These are a new office. Again, can you repeat that? There are a new office. Okay, there we drop A, okay? Because it's a plural thing, so we don't use A. So there are new yeah. offices, okay? Pudo haber sido también 
there, de acuerdo a como usted lo haya visto, there is a new office. Ok. Es así o así. All right. Hmm? But no office is here and no is here or a here. Ok. Are we okay so far? Yes. Okay. Number four. There are not material to work. Mm -hmm. They, there are not mm -hmm. material to work. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. The order, right? Not is right after the verb be, not before. Excellent. Number yes. five. There are not. There are not three boxes in the lobby. All right. And here we are. Now we understand plural singular. There is for singular, there are for plural. Okay, we add not to make it negative. Okay, so let's go and let's prepare. In the discussion label and the platform, all right? We are uh, we have three minutes for, uh, to nine. So I'm going to take the attendance right now. I will check it. And please remember you have to turn your cameras on and please say present. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermudez. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Presente, Chan. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Presente, Chan. Ellen Nilsson Aparicio del Cid. Presente, Chan. Eric José Hernández Campos. Presente, Chan. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Here I am, teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present, teacher. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present, teacher. Magdiel Saúl García Morales. Present, teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present, teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present, teacher. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. José Abel Izaguirre Mendoza. Ryan teacher. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Ok. So. Present teacher, I lose the connection again with you. Say my name. Oh, okay. One sec. All right. Thank you very much for letting me know. Okay, people. Now on the chat, everybody on the chat, you are going to write exactly what you tried to say to say at the beginning. What is there? in your workplace. Ahora corregimos lo que hayamos dicho, okay? Let's think about plural and singular. There is one, there is a, right? There are, there are many, there are a lot of, right? Now, let's start.
it's missing my letter P, right? In my workplace, there is, aha, uh -huh. ahí veamos, Rosa, is it plural or is it singular? It's only one, so it's not rooms, right? Only room. Mm -hmm. In my workplace, there is a showroom. Excellent. In my workplace, there are a lot of computers. A lot of, okay, a lot of computers. There is a cafeteria, right? There you are. In my workplace, there are many branches. Very good. Continue, guys. Hey, don't be so shy. Come on, everybody. Very good, Blanca. There is a human resources room or office, right? There are many little rooms. Very good. Okay, there is a breakout room or a break room, right? And my workplace, there is a cafeteria, excellent. There are many trees, all right, very good. And my workplace, there is a kitchen, wow. Mm -hmm. My workplace, there is a storage room, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else, guys? Mm -hmm. In my workplace, there are many microwaves, plural, right? Microwaves for the lunch time. Mm -hmm. There is a warehouse, excellent. Uh -huh. There are many cars every day. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Abel. There is one meeting room. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good, Rosa. Mm -hmm. There is one bathroom. For how many employees? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we are in El Salvador. Yeah, we are dreaming if we have a lot of bathrooms, right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> and my there is a sum why do you want to say with sum it's like a, i don't know salon de usos multiples all right mm -hmm. um yeah multiple use multiple uses room right Multi-purpose room, right? Multi-purpose room. Mm -hmm. yeah. Multi-purpose 
part is with the letter U at the beginning. Uh, or yeah, like this purpose. Multi-purpose room. Book. Multi-purpose room. And my workplace, there are three employees. Very good. Mm -hmm. Only decoration. Why is that? Why is it only decoration? No, that's not possible. Oh my God. Well, maybe it's a little thing like a fountain. Yeah, that's what I can tell. Carlos Ernesto. Um, um, is it a, a pool? A proper pool? Yes. Um, yes um, All right. Maybe pool. Oh, okay. Okay. There is a very largo. What is that? There is a very largo. What do you want to say, uh, Rafael Barrera? Maybe the correct us. Largo? But what? Maybe is the correct in the cable. Uh, a very garden teacher, I'm sorry. Oh, all right, thank you very much. Okay. Mm -hmm. A very large garden, right? A very large garden, all right. In my workplace, there are many unoccupied rooms in some buildings. Oh, okay, okay. Unoccupied and also empty, or maybe they are not empty. They have things on it, right? So unoccupied, yeah. In my workplace, there is a sales department. Very good, and none. In my workplace, there are many vi vehicles. All right, good. My brother is singing a new song. Who is singing a new song, guys? Right? Maybe in the room, right? Maybe in the room. All right. Mm -hmm. There is a machinery yard. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's a good one, Rafael. Pedro, excellent. I no in my workplace there is a warehouse. All right. Modular area. All right. Modular. Mm -hmm. Like with mamparas, right? Or something like that. Prints. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, at my work, there is a small car. Ah, a small car wash, all right. Very good, very good, Rafael. It says, at my work, there is a small car wash, all right. There is an application called Workplace. Is there? Yes, it's similar to 
to Facebook. Oh, good, good. Mm -hmm. It's powered by Facebook. Oh, uh, really? All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can post any announcement and you can post uh, any anything you want to sell, right? Is that is that correct or it isn't? What do you use it for? Or how do you use it for? How do you use it? Henry? Hello? Do you use it in a personal way? Or only for work purpose? It's only for working. Yeah, for workers, but for work purposes or uh, for workers um, in personal relation? In, in, he's have a, one, one area is uh, personal. Is a, uh, what would you say, classificados? Classified. Classified and oh the announcements exactly and mm -hmm. but the general use is for um, work 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 items mm, right exactly all right so like the yellow pages you use that like the yellow pages all right good and also for work purposes. Very good. All right, people. So now we know how to express this correctly. All right. So let's go to the breakout rooms and we are going to work in the discussion label. In the discussion label on the platform, I posted an activity. Okay. You are going to try to do it as best as you can. All right because there we are talking about our country. So maybe you don't know for sure about these things, but maybe because you, are, you don't live in that place, but maybe you know this because, of, because you're a Salvadoran, right? So please do it the best that you can, right? So the activity, the activity is this. Here it is. There is and there are. This is the post. Okay. So you are going to write five sentences describing what is there and what is not in the capital city of El Salvador, right? We are answering this question. What's there in San Salvador downtown, all right? Now we have changes in the city. So we may talk about that saying there is or there isn't, there are or there aren't, describing the capital city, okay? I will stop sharing. Are you there yet? Are you there yet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There are many YouTubers in San Salvador. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, but let's describe the place. Let's describe the place. There is a word, there is a word very interesting, sightseeing. Sightseeing means go to the city and uh, go walking through the streets or maybe uh, by bus or maybe by car, but you are traveling around the city. You can move in the city from place to place to visit the interesting places, right? So let's think in that way, all right? When we describe the capital city, all right? Teacher. Tell me. We're gonna do we're gonna des describe the whole capital or just the downtown? The downtown, the downtown, okay. right? The downtown. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. 
Okay. You never see the kilometer, zero kilometer? Mm, no, I don't know what you're <laughs> talking about. Tell me. The center. Oh, no, I haven't seen it. Uh, well, I don't remember. I don't remember. Maybe I have been there and I don't remember. The old in, in front of the cathedral in San Salvador. Is it in front yes. of it? Yes. yes. Right in front of it in the walk site or in front of the place? In front of the cathedral. In, in front of the place? In, in Palace, National Palace, the zero kilo the downtown. So, uh, all right. There, there, is a, there is a drop of uh, zero kilometer. Oh. Uh, yeah, in the middle it's of a, the street. It's a mark point from, from the. Es el, kilo, es el punto de medición para medir los kilómetros desde oh, el kilómetro good. cero. Yeah, the, the down, the, the down the San Salvador for our kilometer for go to the occident, north, right. San Miguel, okay. depende for the, you go travel for the San Salvador or El Salvador. Okay, good, interesting. It's really interesting. So that's like the reference point to everywhere or to anywhere, right? Okay. The, the tourist decide for here the San Salvador for down. Okay. down the, I look, look the, the out kilometer for go to the volcano to San Salvador, uh, facility 25 minutes in the car. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Si se desconectan en el camino, eh, por favor avísenme, okay?
Hola, hola, teacher. Hello, Hernán. Tell me. Sí, una consultita. Uh -huh. eh, sobre la ciudad capital, más o menos eh, nos perdimos. ¿Qué es lo que, qué tipo de oraciones tenemos que formar? Uh, you have to describe the downtown, right? So you are going to say there is a, there are, then you say what things in plural are there in San Salvador, okay? Describing the downtown, using there is and there are. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, siempre similar a lo que estuvimos haciendo con en actividad en, en los chats. Exactly, exactly. But this is about your capital city, right? Pero teniendo de referencia, ¿a qué punto? Mm. Uh, it's in general. It's in general. You may get any point of view. If you want to talk about the historical thing, then do it. If you want to talk about the political thing, then do it. If you want to talk about the streets and the changes that the uh, they whole is doing, then uh, you can do that too, right? Mm -hmm. About the the um, sales in the streets, right? The street sellers. Then we can talk about that too, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. It depends on your point of view. This is free. Okay, it's a free activity. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank okay. You. Okay. Bueno. Yes, Pedro? Let's remember, plural, there are a lot of, or there are many vehicles, right? Okay, guys, continue. I'm going to see another group. Sure. Hi, Magdiel. Estamos buscando la imagen que, que nos dijo, pero no encontramos. On the platform. On no, go to... en la aplicación, bueno, estoy de la aplicación del teléfono y no la encuentro. Eh, go to the globes, the conversation globes. Those, mm -hmm. to, then click on it, and then you click on all posts. Sí, estoy dentro de la discusión. Y solo dice el título There is, and there are. Le doy clic y no aparece nada. No aparece, teacher. Is it there? Just one second and let me check because I'm trying to do it through the mobile app. But we can write there is a gecko on the wall. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. It, well, it, now it's beside, right? Now it's next to. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, just one second and let me check because I have the mobile app right here. Ah, uh, it's giving an error. It's the platform is giving an error and it says unknown error. Please try again later. Let's try it again, maybe. Okay, you have to sign out and then you have to sign in because it, it had an error, all right? That's what happened to me. Then you go to the globe, you click on all posts. There is and there are. Again, it doesn't show up, but I have just the description here, okay? At least the description, right? At least the description. Are you on your phones? Is there any one of you who is on a computer? Is working on a computer? I still phone. Yeah, it's loading. If you see, it gets loading. Uh, I don't know if it is possible for you to see. Uh, I, the, oh, yes. There it is. All right. Can you see? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, that one is. Mm -hmm. yes, you Googled it. Is. You Google it? Yes, yes. All right. There you are. Mm -hmm. Yes, that one. In platform? Mm -hmm. Yes. On the mobile thing, it's still loading, right? Yes, uh, uh, There it was, the thing loading. They circled it for us like this. There is a liberty. No, no it's liberty. A statue? Statue? Statue. Statue. Statue or monument too, right? Y mm una -hmm. bandera, una bandera que está ahí, no sé. Flags, right? It's a flag. It's a flag. There are many trees in the park. Yes, but you are looking at this place. This is just to locate your mind, right? To give an idea about the downtown. Please come up with your own ideas. For example, you can say there is a cathedral right in the middle of the center, or I mean, of the city. There is, right? Uh, there is a cathedral. A cathedral. Ca cathedral. cathedral. Yes, cathedral. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is a park. There are, there are, I mean, there is more than one park, okay? There are one, two, and three, and they are uh, nearby, right? They are nearby. There is not only one. No se basen solo en esta foto. Pensemos en eh, lo que, los lugares que hay en San Salvador. Y las describimos de, según su punto de vista, ¿verdad? Puede ser el punto de vista físico, puede ser los cambios que ha tenido o que tiene, ¿verdad? Antes tenía, hoy no tiene. Entonces, uh, también pensemos en las cosas que no hay en nuestra ciudad, ¿ok? There is no clean, clean places, right? No, we are not going to say that. All right. Yeah. Now there are, right? There are many places that are clean, but before we didn't have any, right? Okay. You got it? Ahora sí? Ya le agarraron the idea? All right. Continue, guys. I'm going to check another group. There is a national museum.
Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Ya está en las cinco. No sé si le quieren poner alguna otra cosa más. Estamos buscando, a ver. Teacher, can you help me with the last eh, sentence? Okay, just give me one second because I'm trying to see it. Uh, in downtown, there is a reference point to um, any, where it will be any, like this, where, okay, where of place. No, 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 Henry. I sent it through the chat. Look at it over there. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Chat. Any word. Yes. Ahí se trabó esto. Mm -hmm. Where? Mm -hmm. There you are. ¿Qué más estimados? ¿Algo, ¿Algo peculiar o extraño que tengan del centro? Mercado Ula Ula. Ula Ula. Yo no ahí lo he estado escuchando. Uh -huh. eh, hay algo muy peculiar en la parte de arriba de la... No, no sé, el portal creo que le llaman, donde son los pilares, hay una sala de billar, pero no recuerdo cómo se llama, o sea, es esa parte, enfrente del Parque Libertad, en la segunda planta. No recuerdo cómo se llama esa parte, que está cabal enfrente de donde es... es que se portal, creo que le llama. Se llama Portal Adalias. Ah, el Portal Adalia, cabal, exactamente en la esquina está, en la segunda planta. En el segundo flow de, 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 de Villar, de, de, de un mini, mini, mini bar por el relax. Un coffee de relax es. And what is the name? What is it called? Don't you remember? So, like a cafe, right? So there is a cafe. The coffee, the huh? The coffee, the coffee relax for the the people the sixty six sixty five year <laughs> uh, and older. Um, All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, teacher, tell me. Teacher, but in, in this case, you say cafe relax or coffee relax? No, because cafe, and that's the word to say the place where you go and drink some coffee and have some snacks or desserts, right? So the name of the, those places are cafe, is cafe, cafe, like that. Mm -hmm. I sent you one, Henry, because uh, you were talking about the Ula Ula Market, right? Ah, no he ido todavía. <laughs> Check it out. Hey, come on. Yeah. Go to the, the chat. Ula Ula, Ula Ula Market is open at 6 a.m. or 4.30 p.m. No, at night. Okay. Uh, uh-huh. So el, it's el like ula, it's like a public sorry, marketplace, right? Mm -hmm. El Ula Ula fue este res, 
bueno, se demolió y se volvió a levantar el edificio. Y se dañó un building. But it is a repurposed building, right? Because it was not a market. Yeah, in the, past, in, in the past, in the past, it was a hula for the food, the torta mexicanas, hot dog, the mm. snack, the the only 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 no pupusas, uh, yeah. only torta mexicanas, hamburgers, hot dog. Okay, okay. This is a, a correct teacher. And down hula hula market in a new building. All uh, right. Uh, it's good. Uh, it's uh, with a correct structure. I said something different, but yeah, it is okay. I said there is a new and modern market. Market Ula Ula, right? Or Ula Ula Market. Mm -hmm. Because we, we know that name like Ula Ula, even though it is Hula Hula, right? <laughs> yeah, Hula Hula, yeah. So, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> como, como la, el tema del, del origen de Firulais, creo que debe venir algo parecido por ahí el nombre de ese mercado. Do you think so? Like Firulais? Yeah. I don't know that. It's a, it's a free of lies. Oh, of lies. Oh, all right. Uh -huh. All right. Y se fue de, 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 de generando la pronunciación cuando ya llegó a México. A, le decía, o sea, el jabón se llamaba free, free of lies, un jabón para, para, para pulgas. Oh, Entonces okay. la gente decía, este es Firulaises. <laughs> interesting. It's a very interesting story. Yeah. Yeah, it could be la hula hula, right? Uh -huh. La hula hula. Something strange. I don't know the story about that name. Okay, I, I see your, your uh, sentences are very good. Okay, just stay, uh, uh, be careful with downtown is all together. Downtown, right? I will write it down here, right here. Down, downtown. You are missing a letter N. You are missing the letter N after uh, to complete down, down town, right? Together. So ready. Together. Yeah, but you are missing one letter, right between, uh, right no. before no. the T. Down town. Down. Down. Yes. Ah, la N. Oh. Letter down, N. Down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, people, I'm going to see another group, all right? Continue working and practicing. Hello, did you finish? Finish, teacher. All right, did you send your answer? Did you submit your answer on the platform? Yes. yes. All right, just let me check because I have to, uh, one second, F5 here, F5, to see your answers. All right, no problem, let's go to the main room. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. All right. What happened with Norbert? Norbert? Norbert, yeah. <laughs> oh, I sent you the picture. I sent you the picture. <laughs> Did you see the picture? Yes, he's cute. <laughs> oh, no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like opening his eyes like that. Well, I don't know if it is a he or, for elf or if it is a she, but <laughs> oh, oh my God, no. Is he? Uh, still there? Mm -mm. No, it moved. Maybe it's right behind the computer right now. It was on the oh. uh, on the mirror. Uh, well, behind the mirror, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 <laughs> See you there in the main room. All right.
Okay, let's read the sentences you sent, all right? You submitted some sentences, so we want to read them. Okay, here we go. Rafael wrote, there are a few monument, monuments, all right? Mm -hmm. There are, aquí sería parks sin el A, ¿verdad? Porque A significa uno, means one. Okay, so, teacher. All right. There are flags, okay? Mm -hmm. Or national flags, too, right? There is... A national palace. Ahí sí sería one, ah. One, ah. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. so it will be, there is a national palace, right? Mm -hmm. There is a cathedral, correct? There is not fountain. Isn't there any fountain? I guess. Or there is. We discuss, discuss it and I, I, Llegamos a la, a la conclusión que no. No? All right. Well, I don't remember. I went maybe a month ago and I don't remember. All right. Uh, there are not. Aquí no sería. Ah, uh -huh. sí. okay. What do you want to say with the skyscrapers? What do you want to say with that? Uh, uh, rascacielos. Oh, right. Then uh, tall buildings, right? All right. Mm -hmm. There is not a forest. Yes, there is not. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, no, there isn't. Sería la respuesta. Fíjense que hay una cosa que en English uh, no tenemos esa forma como en el español que decimos no, sí, sí, right? No, no uh -huh. existe así, sino que es no, it's not, right? No, it's not. Or Pero no decimos, yes, it's not. All right. Uh -huh. En español sí lo decimos. No, como no decimos, right? We mixed. Mm -hmm. There isn't a movie theater. Isn't there a movie theater right in the downtown? No more. No more. Well, at least not in function, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are not a snow. Ah? No? no. What is the idea here? Que no hay nieve. Oh, so we don't use a. Ah. In este caso, snow is uncountable. Let's remember, okay. with uncountable, we use there is. There is no snow, right? There isn't snow. Sin el there a. Is. Mm -hmm. Porque como okay. no es contable, no puedo decir una nieve, dos nieves, aunque eh, para nosotros en español las nieves no es la nieve, ¿verdad? sino que son nieves ¿verdad? de sorbet. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. There are a few monuments, there are parks. Oh, es lo mismo con Abel. Ok. Ok, muy bien. Las mismas pusieron. Excellent. All right. Ahí ya vieron las observaciones, ¿verdad? The observations. Let's look at the group of weather. They wrote, there are a lot of trees. Well, they saw trees, guys. So there are a lot of trees. There are two flags. There is a volcano. There is a church. There is a central park. Excellent. There are not cars. Aren't there any car? Aren't there any cars? In the picture, no. Oh, so you were based on the picture. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. According to the picture, there are no cars. But according to the reality, <laughs> okay. Uh, there are not policemen, right? There are not policemen. Not uh, policies is not. Uh, a ver, aquí hay una cosa. Este nombre, police, right? Police, it's always plural, okay? Police is always plural, always plural, right? Pero 
la persona, okay, la persona, it's a policeman, right? A policeman, right? La persona, he's not a police. It doesn't exist. It exists, policeman, right? So policemen will be the plural of policeman, all right? You got it? Este sería con R, okay? Este sería con is, a, y este sería con R, okay? Aquí sería there, verdad, en todos. Okay, you see for me, thank you. Mm -hmm. There, yes. Mm -hmm. There, yeah. Ahora, ¿cómo cambiaría esto? Si yo digo, there is a police department, right? Ahí ya cambia totalmente, ¿sí? Pero si solo digo police, sería there are police, all right? Porque es un plural irregular, ¿ok? Policeman is the person. Policemen is people, right? All together, ¿ok? Uh, there are not birds. Are you sure? Ah, well, according to the picture. All right. But I saw some doves. Yo vi algunas palomitas en, el, en la plaza. There are not sellers. All right. Street sellers, right? And then, then teacher, they fly when I see the picture. <laughs> All right. All right. There are no restaurants. Very good. There aren't. Okay, there aren't restaurants. Well, in the picture. Remember guys, he and his group were based on the picture, right? According to the reality, maybe we can defer, right? Maybe we can defer about the description, but it is okay. So let's see. Let's look at the next one, Rosa. Mm -hmm. What's there in San Salvador downtown? There are some monuments, there are parks, there is a national palace. Okay, this is very good. Look, there is a national palace. There is a cathedral. There are churches, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. We could say Catholic churches, right? Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> uh -huh. in, in general. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's good, it's good. Yeah, some movie theaters ha have been made churches, right? They are repurposed. What is not in the capital city of El Salvador? Just give me one second and let me go uh, scroll down. What, uh, what is not in the capital city of El Salvador? There is not. Um, in in group the anterior <laughs> all right no problem but here a fountain or any fountain if we want to refer to more uh to refer or talk about more fountains right there is not a fountain there are not well the skies croppers there is not a forest there is not Cinema, all right. Cinema could be instead of a ah, cinema. Yes. Mm -hmm. It yes, sounds it. Ah. better with a. Ah. It sounds better with a. Ah. There uh, is yes. not snow. You you did it okay. There is not snow. This is good. This is good. <laughs> Thank okay. you. This teacher. is correct. All right. Let's look at the Blanca's comment. It's she said she said there is a cathedral. There are many parks. There is a liberty um, of monument. Uh, could be uh, bad words. There is um, liberty, a liberty, but not of right. A liberty monument or a monument to liberty, right? Mm -hmm. In honor, right, of liberty. Sería al revés, monument of liberty. I think so, or a liberty monument. There are a lot of ah, trees, trees without the letter H. There is a national library. Oh, good. There aren't, ah, aquí el plural, 
y me ha puesto un singular, mire. There aren't, yes. ah, okay. Near there, there aren't, uh, there isn't a police station. There isn't a police station. Mm -hmm. uh, igual acá. There isn't. Okay. Porque si no sería, there aren't post offices. All right, sin el a y este en plural. Okay. Okay, teacher. Let's look at the next one. Magdiel said, there are two flags in the park. Very good. There is a national museum in the city. Excellent. There is not a national library in the downtown of San Salvador for the moment. Okay, yeah, for the moment. We're expecting because it's in construction, right? It's in the process of being constructed. All right, guys. I see. Did you send yours? Because I didn't see yours, guys. Some are, some are, some are missing. Some of your comments are missing. Maybe it's because you sent it later than. A ver. Sí, no veo, uh, no veo otros comentarios. Tuvieron problemas para comentar en la plataforma. Did you have any problem? No, teacher. No, teacher. We send it. We send Did it. You? So maybe it's mine, right? Maybe, yeah, it's mine, I think. Mm -hmm. It's still loading, all right. Okay. Yes, I did it. I did it, so I'm waiting for it is loading, all right? Let me, let me check, Carlos Ernest. Ah, Henry sent it. But maybe he added another one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahí nos puso otro usted, eh, Henry. Vamos a ver. It says in downtown. Here it is. In downtown, there are many churches of many religions. All right. Mm -hmm. Alguien me ayuda a leer, por favor? Henry, uh, yes. okay, <laughs> read two, town. read two, and then another of your group, read another two, and then uh, maybe anyone else can read it, all right? Read the two left, all right? Okay, right. Mm -hmm. In downtown, there are many church of many religions. In downtown, there is a national, national palace and national theater. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next. Very good. Eh, si se fijan, aquí está bien decir there is a national palace and a national theater if, uh, without repeating there is. Uh, we could say also and also a national theater. All right. Continue, guys. Yeah. Who's May next? I teacher? Yes, please. Okay. In downtown, there are many food places. Some are historical. In downtown, there are three parks open for all public. Okay. For the public in general, right? For the public. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number five and number six. And you continue with number five, um, Carlos. Okay. In downtown, there is a reference point to anywhere. Uh, this is I the continue. one about the kilometer zero, right? Uh, maybe another one of your group can help. Don Rafa. All right, Rafa, <laughs> come on. Number six. Number six. I don't, don't tell there is coyote, lamb, do not cross. Number seven, <laughs> I don't tell there is a ula ula market in a new building. All right. Anyone want to give a comment about the last two? Coyote land. Yeah. Ti -di -di right? Yeah. Don't cross. Don't pass. Yeah. Okay. Is GT is GTA. <laughs> what is that? G T A? It's it's a game. It's a so, Do you know what it is, Karen? I, I don't know. <laughs> don't you know, Rafael? 
Is they are crossing in this in this place. <laughs> oh, seriously? <laughs> All right. G T G T A G T A. All right. Uh, yeah, I will GTA. look it up. I will look it up just to know what that is. All right. <laughs> uh, do you recommend? Did I see it or not? No, better not. All right. <laughs> okay, guys. So Coyote Land, and also uh, you said something else very interesting about the hula hula market, right? Mm -hmm. Alguien más uh, hizo alguna oración de hula hula market? The new market? A ver. No? Okay. Okay. About the portal de la valla, could be. Del portón? Portal de la Dalia. Near oh. to Parque Libertad. Did you do it? Did you write it? Ah, okay. Yeah, I am actually uh -huh. I wrote a statement about it. Really? Uh. <laughs> yeah. When when the team that I work, uh -huh. it was funny, made it because uh -huh. <laughs> tell <laughs> me, tell to, me. We try to don't include the political oh. ideas. <laughs> okay, the politics. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So for that, um, we write a. Uh, if you like play pool, you should visit El Portal de la Dalia. Uh -huh. There are many tables to play in. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Well, but it's not a red zone, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. It's near um uh behind of National Theater. Oh okay. Down. Okay. It's opposite to Parque Libertad in the second floor. Okay. All right. But if you like read, if you like read, you would like to visit uh Luz Negra. Okay. Well it's next to to National Theater. You can okay. read, they, there are uh, spaces to read and drink coffee or eat a uh, pastry. Oh, okay. So those are the cafes that um, Rafael were talking about. Rafael? Is that blue room? Uh-huh. That's what, she, what Karen is saying. Luz Negra. But okay. if you like uh, other like drinks, it's uh, Rufus. Uh-huh. Rufus is a nice place. Okay. At night mm -hmm. has a, a, a musicians. Okay. Like a Portal de la Dalia. All right. Okay. Is it a safe place? Yes. Okay. You see here we have the <laughs> the sentences. Yes. Karen sentences. So For let's sure. look at. Tell me, oh, it's ten, right? We, we, we need to make an excursion. Oh, yes, we need yeah. to. We need at to. night is better. Yes. At night, at night. We may have a meeting right there, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe a conference Friday, from, Friday, from Saturday from at night. <laughs> <laughs> Only Friday, Friday Saturday, Saturday, Saturday at night. The Dancing next class day is or Sunday, 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 Sunday. day. <laughs> Okay, so next uh, video conference from, <laughs> okay. From Adalia. <laughs> okay, if you like play pool, you should visit El Portal de la Dalia. There are many tables to play without the ING. There are renovations and building tapes. <laughs> All right. We have a little conflict about it. About because this? Uh -huh. Because, uh, yes, because when I wrote, uh, I wrote, uh, there are many tables to play. Uh -huh. But uh, another partner says that playing, you're okay. Uh, all right. Maybe because they think that this is a preposition, but it is yes. not. This mm -hmm. is not a preposition. This is part of expressing a purpose. And expressing the purpose, we use an infinitive. So we use to play. Right. This is part of the infinitive. The verb infinitive is, is without the two part. So here it is to play because it's a purpose. The mm -hmm. tables are uh, have the purpose to play. Right. 
All right. So there are there are renovations and building space. Yes, to play, to play. Okay, and then we see Hernan and Carlos Ernesto, right? There are many churches and parks. Excellent. There are there have uh, the downtown has a problem of traffic. Okay, because there are many vehicles, and in Salvador there are many stores, restaurants, and malls in the periphery. Uh, there are there is a volcano, right? There is a volcano, it's one, or there are volcanoes. So we have to add letter ES. And a Lopango Lake. All right, yes, in the center of the city, um, there are historical monuments. Okay, we pause the adjective before the noun, historical monument. As the National Palace, Cathedral, National Theater, and other places. Excellent. Very good, Carlos Ernesto and Hernan and Pedro. Very good. Let's look at uh, Jose Hernandez. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we said all pu public, we, uh, we can say for the public, right? For the public. Okay. There you are, guys. You did a very good job. You did a very good job. So you traveled tonight you traveled all right guys uh the allow me please to um call the roll remember you have to turn your cameras on and say present when you hear your name i will do it kind of faster because it's 10 06 and it's respecting i mean with respect right andrea sofia benitez gomez blanca alejandra present, portillo okay. bermudez carlos ernesto perez present all right, Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio, Claudia Amilet Coreas. Present teacher. Ellen Nilsson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Hazel Present. Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present. Hernán Present Antonio teacher. Chacón López. Present. Okay. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Hey, today it was in one, right? Karen Chamilet Rivas de Ayala. Magdiel Saúl García Morales, Present. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz, Present Rafael teacher. Antonio Barrera Díaz, All right. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro, Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobá, Present teacher. Uh, Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía, Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez, Present. José Abel Aguirre Mendoza, Pedro Alexander Osorto Sanchez. Great. All right. The session one on one, if you want to stay with me 10 more minutes, it's for, uh, well, yesterday it was for Claudia, right? But we uh, offer the opportunity to Alan Nilsson. So, so tonight, Claudia, do you want to stay 10 more minutes with me? Yes. All right. Then. See you tomorrow, guys, and please do See your you homework. tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Bye bye. Good tomorrow, good night. Bye bye. 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 Bye Hi, teacher. Yeah. Hi, Claudia. <laughs> how are you tonight? Good. <laughs> okay, yeah. tell me, how can I help you? Um, eh, está bien. O sea, más o menos eh, con lo que ando perdida es con el principio de la clase, ¿va? de todo, de la unidad uno, más que todo. Porque como fueron dos días que no me conecté, entonces eh, con eh, las cosas de, del, del bus, Y también el Eastern, creo, o Google, algo así, ajá. Shoot, con el shoot. Ajá, shoot. ajá con el shoot. Okay. Eh, creo que solo eso, más o menos que ando perdida ahí. Ok, pero sí ya vio la videoconferencia de shoot. Sí, ya la vi, sí, ya okay. la vi, ya la vi. Ok. Ya yo la veo. Yeah, I know. I know you are responsible and you have had some issues. But just give me one second. I want to open yeah. this uh, thing just to check. Okay, we use should when we want to give 
our opinion about any bad behavior and we want to correct it. Por ejemplo, usted quiere corregir algún eh, comportamiento que está a su modo de ver está mal, que alguien haga algo, entonces usted viene y utiliza el shoot para decirle que no lo haga o que lo, lo haga. haga. O que lo haga. Ah. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Dependiendo, puede ser que esa persona esté haciendo algo mal o está haciendo algo que no, que no está correcto o está haciendo algo correcto pero puede ser mejor, ¿ok? So you give your advice, ¿ok? You give advice. And we use should in the negative way and in the affirmative way. Just give me one second and let me get there. Here it is, I think. Ok, por acá. El objetivo de esa clase era que aprendiéramos a... Ahorita le comparto porque estoy tratando de compartirlo y me paso de ahí. Okay, aquí estamos. Entonces, la idea de esa clase era que aprendiéramos a, um, perdón, ya casi llego, ya casi llego ahí, que aprendiéramos a dar nuestra opinión, ¿verdad? O aprendiéramos a dar eh, un consejo, ¿verdad? Un consejo de cómo hacer algo. Y lo vimos en el asunto del proceso de manufactura. Por ejemplo, eh, usted mira que en el proceso alguien debe o debería hacer algo. Entonces usted le dice, you should get that, for example, get that with, I mean, more carefully, right? Con mayor cuidado, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm -hmm. usamos should to give advice. And that was yeah. the idea, right? That was the idea, to give advice. So, let's look at the examples we have here. El primero que les daba yo acá es, por ejemplo, I'm cold. Esa es la situación que está pasando, ¿verdad? Ante sí. una situación, siempre todos damos nuestra opinión, vea, ponete tal cosa, sí. hazte tal otra, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo mismo acá. Esta persona tiene frío. He's cold, right? Y yo digo, I'm cold. Y pregunto. Esta es la forma de usar should en una pregunta. Es un auxiliar. Por lo tanto, yo no voy a usar otro auxiliar. ¿Verdad? No voy a decir. No voy a usar, por ejemplo, el heavy. El heavy. Ajá. Ajá. Yo tengo. No, no voy a usar ese. No. Ni tampoco voy a utilizar eh, eh, do or does para hacer ah. la pregunta, ¿verdad? No voy a uh -huh. utilizar ningún otro de los auxiliares que hemos visto. Entonces, ¿qué voy a usar como el que hace la pregunta? Es should. Y lo voy a pasar al principio. Yo puedo hacer preguntas de la misma manera que la hago con cualquier otro auxiliar. Como, uh -huh. por ejemplo, una pregunta directa, que la respuesta es sí o no, ¿verdad? O puedo hacer una pregunta con una palabra WH, que sería como esta, ¿verdad? Que ya quiere una respuesta más amplia de información, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. what should I wear? What should I wear? En este caso, estoy preguntando, ay, ¿qué debo ponerme o qué debo usar? ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Yo tengo frío, vos. mira, ay, ¿qué me pongo? Vos? O sea, eso. Pero... Nosotros tal vez no le decimos así en formalidad qué debería ponerme. Mm, ya eso lo sentimos como muy formal, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ay, que me pongo. Eso uh -huh. significa esto. Aquí uh -huh. okay. should no es que sea gran formalidad. Esa es la forma correcta de decir. ¿Ok? What uh -huh. should I wear? What should I wear? Ahora, yo le puedo contestar de dos maneras. Le puedo contestar diciéndole lo que no debe usar o le puedo contestar diciéndole lo que debe usar, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Si usted tiene frío. Entonces, en la forma afirmativa yo le digo lo que usted debiera usar. You should wear a sweater. Ajá, ese es como el consejo positivo, ¿verdad? Ahora yo le puedo decir, you shouldn't, uh, shouldn't okay. wear a tank top. Usted no debe usar una camisetilla y una cosa sin mangas. You should wear a sweater. Entonces, uh -huh. vemos que tenemos tres estructuras. Tenemos, vimos la pregunta, vimos la afirmativa y vimos la negativa. La negativa. Uh -huh. 
Entonces, lo usamos para dar consejo, para recomendar y para hablar o decir, ¿verdad? Lo que nosotros creemos que está bien o lo que nosotros creemos que está mal. Lo que estaría bien, ¿qué sería acá? Sería, you should wear a sweater. ¿Qué estaría mal? You shouldn't wear a tank top. Ok. Ok, ahí lo tenemos, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí teníamos este ejercicio que lo hicimos uh, para decir lo que era correcto y lo que era incorrecto, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si es saludable tomar agua, le debo decir a usted, you should drink enough water every day, ¿verdad? Yo debiera decirle, you should, se me va a mover todo, ¿ok? Y así, ¿verdad? What about the fast food? Is it healthy? ¿Recomendamos que se coma fast food? No. No, right? It's not healthy. So, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. Mm -hmm. no, no cambia should para ninguna de las personas. Aquí no agregamos letra S. Aquí a la tercera persona, ¿verdad? No le agregamos letra S ni nada de eso. Vale, esa es una de las cosas. Y la otra es que debemos usar should con el verbo en forma base. Mire, aquí no debe decir drinking, ¿verdad? Con el ing. Debe decir drinking. Entonces tiene que el should se usa cuando se, en pocas palabras, cuando hay una consonante al final en, el, en lo que se está pidiendo o haciendo. Uh, no comprendí. Vaya, por ejemplo, ahí lo que dice es que no debe tomar. Tomar es, es como un verbo. Ajá. En el inglés lleva una, una, perdón, una consonante al final. Entonces, las que llevan consonantes es lo que no, eh, como usted dijo, no se puede poner should. Then. Por ejemplo. No, 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 no tiene nada que ver la consonante o la vocal en este caso, uh -huh. porque estos son verbos, son actividades o acciones. Uh -huh. Entonces, aquí no tiene nada que ver la escritura. Aquí lo que tiene que ver es el significado, el significado. Si usted quiere decir algo que para usted es correcto y le va a dar ese, ese consejo a la otra persona, usted va a usar should, ¿verdad? Mira, debes portarte bien, ¿verdad? Ok. You should show a good behavior, ¿verdad? Entonces... Eso es decirle que haga algo en una manera positiva o afirmativa. Ahora, en una forma negativa es decirle a alguien que no debe hacer alguna cosa, no debiera. Pero esto es solamente como una suggestion. Esto es solo sí. como una sugerencia, ¿verdad? Porque la persona puede decir si lo hace o no. Hay otros, hay otros que vamos a ver más adelante que es, no hay opción, que así es. Pero con el should, si yo quiero, no lo hago, ¿verdad? O si la otra persona no quiere, no lo hace, ¿ok? Sí. They shouldn't eat fast food. Eso quiere decir, ellos no debieran comer eh, comida rápida. Aquí es, tú debes tomar suficiente agua todos los días, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, esto es del significado. Por ejemplo, Mariana. Sería Mariana. Ajá. Shouldn't. Ajá, exactly. What? Shouldn't. Porque no uh -huh. es bueno ver tanta tele, ¿verdad? Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. It's not good. Mariana no debe de ver. Uh -huh. de. Exacto. Y mire, aquí no tiene nada que ver con la primera uh -huh. letra. ¿me? Es igual, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Aquí hay vocales, aquí hay consonantes. Lo que usamos es por el significado. Vamos sí. a ver acerca de la gente. People. Uh, should. Las personas. Exactly. Uh -huh. Shouldn't. Ah, pues uh -huh. sí, sí, ya. Ok. De eso se trata el should y de eso se trata el shouldn't. Ok. Ah, ya. Ok. Ok. Then. Eh, estaba revisando las tareas. Usted sí ha trabajado, pero no me ha llegado a completar la 1, ¿verdad? Ajá. No. Necesito no. que le trabaje ahí porque, ajá, porque ayer porque yo sabía que estaba sin energía eléctrica, pero hoy. Sí, se fue en una mañana. Ajá. Una mañana. Ok, muy bien. Pero, eh, sí, ya tengo pero usted adelante, adelante lo que pueda 
porque imagínese, le vuelve a pasar que se le va la luz, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, sí. ajá, o, o algo pasa, ver que el cargador, que cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Que el internet, que un sí. relámpago, que la lluvia, cualquier cosa puede pasar. Así que usted vaya adelantando lo más que pueda, ¿ok? Bye. Ok, Bye. Claudia, no problem. Have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye-bye.